YouTube. <laughs> What's good? Here at AutoZone. One of my favorite places to be. Just gonna borrow a tool. Already got the, get, got everything we need. Just need to borrow the tool. Look at him. He's just hating because my YouTube channel is taking off. <laughs> YouTube. Follow my channel. Links right here. All day. <laughs> Alright. There you go, bro. YouTube, hey, check it out. So, we were just in AutoZone, you know, doing our thing. We got the screwdriver, we're gonna borrow it. I just dropped an ID, no cash, good to go. Uh, I got a 2009 Dodge Grand Trailer fan. I'm just gonna replace the light bulb on it on the right side. I did the left side, and I figured I'd do the right side for you, YouTubers. So, let's check it out. Open. Crackhead left. Family man. Children everywhere. So it looks like a torque tip. So I'm gonna actually use. I'm gonna use my flathead. I thought it was a Phillips a torque tip. It's gonna work, guys. It's gonna work. Oh my God! Who would have known that a flathead fits in the right size torque? So we're gonna take this one out. Fast forward. There are usually two to three of them on, on a light. I've seen four. Those are on like trucks and stuff, but for the most part, it's a simple change out. Now, the more expensive the car or the vehicle, the more expensive uh, or the more harder, the harder it's gonna be to get to this. Let's see what we can do. Should pop out. Some little connection somewhere I don't know about. This one is actually the blinker that went out. You'll be able to tell too. So most vehicles, all you do is twist it one way or the other. Most of the time it doesn't matter and it should release. This one actually has a way to go lock on. It's as simple as pulling this guy out. Oh, wait, there's clips. Oh no, there's no clips, screwed up. Dead light bulb, see how it's burnt. I'll show you a good one. Like I said I went to my local auto zone. Burnt one, good one. I mean, it doesn't matter which way you really put it in. Most vehicles uh, are the same when it comes to these tail lights. Pop it right in. Slide it back in the hole. Turn it to the lock position. Make sure you're putting it in the right way. This one has two little knobs that go into their holes. Male and a female. Unless you're an American. Fuck. Well, I don't know. Americans are crazy. You listen to both of them pop back in. Let's put our screws back in. Or French or whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. And now these don't, the torque isn't crazy about it. You know, it's just a nice little snug. And did you know that uh, your hand can usually do something about a 70 inch pound torque? On just a good wrench with the wrist, with the wrist twist, you know what I mean? Twisting in the kitchen. You know what I mean? About a good, mm, just a nice, about 70 inch pound torque. I mean, what more do you need on a light? <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a tail light on a 2009 Dodge brand, a Dodge Fuel Flex E85 ethanol brand caravan. This is all bleaked out, by the way. <laughs> Comment, like it, subscribe, hit the bell, hit all the bells. Love y'all.